Ay, uh, uh, like a day. Say it. Okay, day to celebrate something. A day to celebrate something with Lizzie. Okay, so we can see that there's a little bit of a difference here, right? Because holy day, holiday is kind of like the same idea. So a holy day is celebrating something religious, right? Whereas maybe a holiday is celebrating something secular, right? Which is what? Like Halloween. Okay, like Halloween perhaps. Something traditional, right? Like the 4th of July. What do we, why do we celebrate that? Okay, it's our Independence Day. But is that like a religious celebration? No. no, of course not, right? So a holy day is very specific to religion. And of course, like we said, we're trying to probably remember something, right? Or, you know, commemorate sometimes is the word people use, okay? <coughs> so think about, like, we're in the season, obviously, of Christmas, right? So Christmas, would that be a religious or a not religious holiday? Different religion, each of your groups a different religion. 
and you're going to kind of look at an actual calendar and determine some different determine some different holy days that you're going to be researching. Okay. So if you go ahead and look on the screen, it has some questions that you're going to be looking at specifically. So what we want to know is what is the actual purpose of these holy days, right? Meaning like why do they actually celebrate this holy day? Okay. Now obviously we know for Christmas we already said we're celebrating for the birth of Christ. Oh, yeah. And then you'll just kind of like scroll down. 
down so you see something that's Hindu. <laughs> Which is the only one. Okay, Chinese New Year would be a good one.
I mean, it's like a fruit berry. Which I'm like, I think it's Is that the sound of Right, okay, so the thing, like, uh, the thing that you were, like a farmer, why would that be important to you? Okay, right, that's right. So that's, I mean, so I know what you're saying, like, it's been about trees, but it's not so much that it's about the trees as much as it's like a harvest, right? So for people that were farmers originally, that would have been a super important time for them because that means, like, oh, the harvest is coming, our food is coming in. Which means, like you said, now we have actual food to sustain us. So if you keep reading down, you see how it says they mark the day like me. Right? And then um, singled, those that are singled out in the Torah, the boundaries of the old land, you know, the great city, etc. So it's not so much like it's like trees, it's that it's more like it's, it's a harvest. You know, think about like um, what would be the connection of like sort of religion if like. Would maybe they they think is responsible for the trees to fall, right? So in sort of a way, it's sort of maybe like they don't know how to. I think um, can you come over some? I think this is the same thing. It's just it has a different name. Um. I mean, yes, I'm sure, but that's probably just a different like language. I've just, I just think we're really trying to do them. I'm ready to do um, the calendar. It says Trinity Sunday, and no, so they said for the Trinity, so it's, it's the same. yeah, that's the same thing now. I'm ready to. What? A few more minutes, but you know what? Because you're ready, I'm coming to you first, man. You coming to us first? We're, we're team. Right. Team, team effort. We're so team. that means. That means get your half together. I, my half is already there. We okay. just up there. Okay, we'll see. We don't see. Hmm. The only thing we're not going to see is that they don't look at the trend. Okay, just a few more minutes and then we're going to start um, sharing what we found for Holy Days. Right, and they may not. Like I said, every holiday is not going to necessarily have something that they eat or wear. It kind of depends on the one you're looking for. Okay. 
Um, and during Community Sunday, people go into fields and they pray. Well, that's old in religion, but that's what people usually do. They go into fields and they pray to God and make shapes in the dirt. Reference the symbols for that. Awesome, thank you. All right, we're going to go to our Hindu group. So whichever one would like to go first. My first day is April 8th, Hindu New Year. It's a curse. Okay, the Hindu New Year is calculated on the basis of the Hindu lunar solar calendar, and therefore its date differs significantly from that of the first day of January. At different in different regions of India, New Year is celebrated at different dates, and most often it occurs on the sunset of spring. This day, people decorate in the entrance of their home with fresh mango leaves and perform ritualistic worship of God, charistic, involving his blessing. Special dishes are prepared with raw mango. Very good. Kivani? Um, we had the Krishna Jamasami, um, August 25th. Okay. Jamastami commemorates the earthly appearance of Krishna, who is described in India's sacred writing as God himself. Krishna Jamastami occurred on um, August 25th, where Vaishnava temples exist. Festivities began down and extend all day until midnight. The exact moment of the anniversary of Krishna's appearance, <coughs> appearance events include singing the Lord's name with other devotees, intimate prayer, some cook, some cook a feast, others perform drama and dances. At midnight, priests pull apart the curtains to reveal the freshly dressed deity of Krishna on a creatively festooned and colored altar. All right, good. Okay, let's go to our Buddhist group. <coughs> Okay, good. And remember, like, for Buddhists, Nirvana is supposed to be their ultimate goal, right? All right, let's go to our Judaism group. Tubi Shabbat. Tubi Shabbat begins in the evening of Sunday, January 24th, and ends, <clears throat> ends in, the beginning, in the evening of Monday, January 25th. It is the 15th day of the Jewish month of Shabbat. The purpose of the holiday is to think to mark the beginnings of the new year for the tree. This is the season in which the earliest blooming trees on, on the land of Israel emerge from the winter sleep and begin a new fruit bearing cycle. Jewish mark, Jews mark the day of to be shattered by eating fruit, um, particularly from the islands that are singled out by the torch in, in its praise of the bounty of the Holy Land. Holy Land. Okay. Our second holiday is Hanukkah. To come. Dedication of the Temple of Jerusalem in 167 BC when Judah rededicated the temple that occupied in Israel. Hanukkah occurs during December 25th, January through January 1st. 
Yes, there are traditional foods. Jewish people cook with a lot of oil to represent keeping the flame that was in the temple alight for eight days. They eat potato pancakes known as laki, cheese pancakes, and jam filled donuts. But there isn't anything anything particular to wear on her. Okay, some of the rituals done on Hanukkah is kindling the Hanukkah lights, lighting the candles, resting over the candles, and mail Hazza. Okay, good. So remember we talked about like a menorah? That's uh, where they use that in Hanukkah. All right, Islam. <laughs> we have Islam, and, I, um, and one of our holy days is Ramadan. Ramadan is um, known as the holy month of fasting and prayer. Ramadan is the month, uh, well, is known as the month of blessing. It is celebrated from June 18th to July 4th. There is no special clothing for Ramadan, and instead of special food, they actually fast in front of the sundown. To celebrate this holy day, people pray, fast, and give to charity. Okay, good. So actually for Islam, Ramadan is like their most important holy day. Okay. Um, our second holiday was the night of decree, and it celebrates when the Quran and holy books were sent It's celebrated on July 2nd. No special food is eaten, but food is provided in the mosque. religion of some sort? We have Baha'i. Okay. On the birth of Baha'i and the birth of Baha'u. On October 20th, Baha'is around the world celebrate the birth of one of their founders who was destined to become the Quran, the promised one from Islam. And on October 12th, 1817, Marine Khatan Are there any like common themes that we noticed from like all of these different religions? Well, I think a lot of the religions know that the Bible didn't really have special rules. Okay. Anything else that we maybe had things that were in common between some of these, or things that we know that happened in the United States? Like again, mostly we're Christian in the United States. Are there any things that were similar from what other religions? So just, I think, the idea of celebrating a new year, right, and it kind of just gives people, like, a fresh start. I mean, our New Year's Day isn't as religious as some of these others, right, but just the idea of celebrating a kind of new beginning, if you will. Cayman? Um, giving, giving something back or repenting to their God. Definitely, right? There was kind of a theme of maybe giving something back or repentance, which, again, is kind of a common theme in a lot of your religions. Um, basically like the whole season of, you know, Lent for Catholics, you're supposed to be sort of repenting, and um, we didn't talk about it, but like Jews have Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement, where they repent, right? Ramadan, they're supposed to be kind of thinking about what they've done through the year, and sin for every organ, right? Same kind of thing. So lots of common things there, right? All right, so just kind of keep those things in mind whenever we're, we're studying for religion. So what I want you to do is go ahead and go back to your computer. We're going to do just like a little um, kind of review over some religion topics. So you're actually going to need to go to 
uh, kahoot.it, so it's K-A-H-O-T-T dot I-T on your computer. Okay, and this is what you should see on the screen. Kahoot.it. Yeah, kahoot.it. Thank you. Okay. So it's asking you to enter your PIN number. Okay, this is going to be your PIN number right here. Okay, 379942, so go ahead and put that in.